This week on Chef Brain, we're thrown in at the deep end with one of the most noxious ingredients known to man. Marmite. We've got 30 minutes to cook a meal out of ingredients that you'll have in your store cupboard at home. 30 minutes, the time it takes to cook a HelloFresh meal. Who wins? Let's find out. My name is Patrick Drake and the rules of this show are very simple. We have 30 minutes to cook a recipe from a bunch of ingredients that we haven't seen yet. We get unlimited access to tabletop ingredients like olive oil, salt, pepper and butter and we get to choose three pantry items. Today, the competing chef is Nicholas Dransky. Good morning. How are you feeling about today? A little bit nervous. You did win last time, so it is yours to lose. <laughs> yes. Ready for the big reveal? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Not so eloquent. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I'm impartial to it. Tin tomatoes, what are these? Prunes. Prunes? No. They're dried peppers, Patrick. Dried peppers, okay. And chicken? And some cheddar. Cheddar cheese. Semi-mature cheddar. Semi-mature, is it? Okay. Have we got some time to prep in the library? Let's do this. Let's go. What have you chosen for your recipe? I'm going to do a cheesy Mexican bean bake. I'm going to need to add in some beans. Beans. Oh, carrots. Put some yogurt on top to sort of like smooth out those flavours at the end. It sounds deeply average. I'm going to be doing <laughs> chicken paillard with marmite patatas bravas, which is going to involve potato, some smoked paprika in it, some onion. Oh! Yeah. First take. 30 minutes to put these little beauties together. Let's do this. To front load mine, I'm going to put my patatas bravas into the oven. Okay, I'm going to grate my carrots and then I'm going to drain off the beans that I've got here and then uh, use the juice from the beans to blend to make a sort of similar to an egg white consistency. If you are a vegan or if you don't want to use eggs, um, the juice from beans is a perfect substitute. Someone's taken my bowl, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, marmite, onto the potatoes. We need to be really sparing with the marmite. This stuff is really, really strong. It's a yeast extract, which originally came as a byproduct from beer production. It's actually amazing for adding um, a savory boost. It's got a deep sort of umami flavor in it. Uh -huh. And that's from the glutamic acid that's the in there, which acid. is also the what's in soy sauce and Parmesan cheese. So I have just mashed these beans. I'm going to blend these beans. <laughs> so, it's not working with this, but oh, if you have uh -oh. <laughs> with clearer um, bean juices and things like chickpeas, it, uh, it should work. I'm going to add half of the tomato mix with some of the marmite and two chili peppers. I'm using this to add um, an extra sort of like umami flavor. And this is excellent. Like it can, you can add it to soups, to stocks, to stews, to, to anything. Kiwis absolutely love Marmite as well. And when they had their earthquake in 2011, the only Marmite factory down there was destroyed. People started going nuts, like stockpiling Marmite. And um, towards the end, like people were selling it on eBay, $600. What's wrong with these people? I am slicing red onion in the pan. A little bit of chili in there. And I'm just gonna sweat these off for about five minutes. What do you mean when you say sweat, Patrick? It means that you are cooking them on a low heat, slowly, so that you can release the juices from them, soften them up. Okay. Dice some chicken now. Yeah, chicken, good idea. I'm gonna sandwich my chicken between two pieces of cling film. Chicken tenderizing and stress relief. Hammer it. Oh, that's a little bit overzealous. All right, I'm just gonna add the rest of my tomatoes. Carrots too. 15 minutes, guys. 15 minutes, I got this. How are you doing? 
Mm. Just adding chicken to this now to slowly cook in. Mm -hmm. It is a little drier than I. <laughs> so you. <laughs> How many chickens are in the world? Again, the person who has the most inaccurate answer has to eat one of those peppers. Oh, yes. I'm going to say six billion chickens. Fifteen billion. Fifteen billion? Come on. There are twenty billion chickens in the world. One smoke the big one. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, oh, it's hot. Anyway, back to me winning. I'm just going to add that sort of mix of tomato and the marmite and... Are you really struggling? No. <laughs> My onions are softened now. And I'm putting in the tomatoes. Oh, my tongue is on fire. I'm genuinely high. I've got the oh. chili high. <laughs> I'm, my, my head is spinning. This is my non-whisked bean juice. Which didn't quite work out, but... I'll proudly add it anyway. And now I'm going to add my beans into the stew. Okay, the next thing that's going into my onions is a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I'm going to check on my, my tatties, give them a little bit of a mix. Why don't you cook with metal spoons with the tomatoes? Back in the day, they used to have uh, plates that had lead in them, and the acids from the tomatoes would leach the, um, the lead out of the plates, and so when people would eat tomatoes, they would be poisoned. So for years, they thought that tomatoes were actually a poisonous fruit, and they were called the poison apple. Five minutes, guys. I'm ready to plate up. Yeah, you're ready to plate oh. up. Are you sure? Rude, Patrick, <laughs> very rude. <laughs> it's a speedy one pot, guys. <laughs> Tomatoes, store them in the fridge or on the counter? On the counter. You keep them on the vine as well yeah. and keep them out of the fridge and the vine keeps on nourishing the tomatoes. Right, I'm gonna put my potatoes into a mixing bowl. I am gonna ladle one spoon of this into the bowl and then put a handful of cheese in there with a ladle on top. Finish with a dollop of Greek yogurt. Mixing my tomato sauce into my roast potatoes and just fold it gently. You have three minutes, Patrick. Okay, three minutes is all I need. This little thin piece of chicken, I'm just gonna flash fry it. Uh oh. Oh, I hit the chicken a little bit too hard. <laughs> Looks like a mask that's oh, melting. Crap. Oh. A little bit of salt on it, a little bit of pepper. Flip it over like a pancake. There we go. A little bit of butter into the pan as well. So, chicken onto the plate. My patatas bravas on top. A little bit of pepper, a cheese. Done. Let's <laughs> take it to the judging. Can I present mine on a piece of wood so it looks better? <laughs> Oh, do you think? <laughs> Here they are, oh my God. It's, it's just like The Apprentice all over again. This one looks good. Oh, is this halloumi? That is chicken. Is, uh, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of judges are these? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mmm. <laughs> it's quite spicy. They're both pretty spicy, I think, but the chicken and potato has more flavour. This one has like a very strong, spicy aftertaste. Um, this one didn't taste of much. Feels like Marmite has literally just been put in at the end to add Marmite to it, whereas this one feels a little bit more like it's been used to enhance the flavour of the chicken and the potatoes. I like the kick that the that one's spicy um, chicken as well, one has. It's spicy, but I think in a good way. All right, let's bring the chefs in. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How 
How was it, guys? Good. I think they're both really nice. One, two, two three. three. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was delicious. I've never had anything quite like that before. I agree. I think this was, the textures are really nice with it. Um, and I love potatoes forever, so always going to be a winner with me. What can we say about the other one that's positive, though? Let's, like, you know, yeah, it's just one little thing. It's always nickel a really and nice, warming, wintery. Yeah. That was sort of what I was goulash. going for. Yeah. Goulash. <laughs> Did she say goulash or gulag? <laughs> Is this prison food? <laughs> Okay, so this week I want to pay particular thanks to the judges and um, hopefully we'll be seeing Nicker again. Thank you for watching and catch up with us next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Chef Brain. If you want to see more episodes, then click subscribe. Also, you can leave a comment below or give us a thumbs up. Catch you next time.